Hi everyone, this is a review on this tarot deck which is called After Tarot. So I bought this a while ago and I really enjoy this particular deck. I think it is one of my, it's, it's honestly one of my favourite in terms of illustrations. I mean, I will be honest, I have used it a few times on my channel for doing zodiac sign readings and, and things like that. I use them quite often in pick a card readings. Maybe I don't reach them, reach for them as often as my other card decks, but I will say nonetheless it is one of my favourites. So I, I really do love this particular deck. I think the illustrations are really great. Um, I have so many tarot decks, honestly, I have so many that of course it is difficult when you have so many to kind of, you know, keep reaching for them because there are so many, but I would say this is one of my favourites and I totally do recommend this particular deck. Um, so we have the box here, it's called After Tarot and it is actually made by Low Scarabio, which is one of my favourite um, companies because they make so many great tarot cards, they make Golden Universal, I'll just show you an example actually, let me just open my draw of tarot cards, so they make Golden Universal, which is this deck, perhaps not the best example actually, but um, if you look at the cards, they have beautiful gold foiling, and this, this company just makes some really amazing tarot decks, they're very unique, just really great, you know, and, and they also recently just made actually another, I'm not sponsored to talk about them in any way, shape or form, but you can see at the top here where my nail is, that there is some beautiful gold foiling as well. This is also another deck, this is called the Golden Art Nouveau. I have um, reviews on all of these different decks, so do check out my channel as well, but they also have this deck called After Tarot, which is just a beautiful take on, you know, the normal Rider Waite sort of deck that we know of. I mean, you know, there's, there's so many variations, honestly, but this is really lovely. So the back of the cards looks like this. It's got flowers, it's got this cross on it. I love I love it when you can sort of have them either way. The colour scheme is just really, really beautiful. I love the back of cards, I really do. Okay, so on the box, it's just a normal standard carton. It's got this beautiful illustration. So this is the Two of Cups card. I just love the variation of illustrations. You've also got some more on this side, you've got the chariot illustration, you've got the ace of swords illustration, and then you've just got the different languages at the bottom. What I do love about this deck is that the instructions come in multiple languages, which I think is... Like, let's just give that a round of applause. I, I really do love that. The book itself is really great. It is a paper book. Okay, but it does have a lot of information in there. And as I mentioned, it comes in multiple languages. So the languages that it has here is German, Spanish, Italian, French, and of course, English. So, I like the fact that even though it's black and white, they did actually put an illustration in the book. I think that that is just really, really lovely. So it starts first of all by talking about the concept of this particular deck. So it's just, um, it just says here that um, the concept of the deck is at the same time simple and wonderful and that each arcana is portrayed um, a few seconds or minutes after the moment we are used to as it is found in almost all traditional tarot. So again, it's, you know, it's very, very similar and um, it's really to, also apparently it says here as well, to not just see a scene um, and let our intuition find the meaning, but it's also made to encourage the reader to think forward and backward in time and empower um, is per and empower is perception and sensibility. So that's what it says there, and then it starts with the major arcana, and then it goes through each of the cards and explains the meanings, which is really great. And then it goes through, for example, all of the suits, and then it goes through all the swords, etc., etc., and then it does it in all the other languages as well. So I think this is really great if you're a beginner and you want something that's just a little different to Rider Waite. It's very similar. The illustrations are very similar but they're just a little bit different and they are just really beautiful at the same time. Okay so the card quality is really really lovely. They are really great. They feel really great and the illustrations are beautiful. You know, again, it's got the Roman numerals, it's got the name of the card, especially on the major arcanas. And um, again, you know, very, very simple. If you have mastered and you just know, you know, which cards are which in Rider Waite, you will very, very easily be able to tell which cards are which in After Tarot. Okay, so there we go. We have the Emperor, the Sun, King of Wands, King of Swords, 
five of wands, nine of pentacles. See, they're just so similar, but they're still different. And that is something that I think is just really exciting. And here you have a glove, you know, like getting quite hands on and, you know, really touching, you know, the fruits of your labor. And it, again, there's just some really lovely hidden meanings in there as well. So what I usually do when I get a card deck is I, I try and, of course, first of all, learn which ones are which, especially if the deck is very, very different. But also at the same time, I really look very, very close at the detailing to see if there's something else I can pick up. You know, we've got so much detail going on there and, you know, the things and of course things in the background, you know, the clothing. There's so much detail that really is present. So we've got the Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, the devil the card quality is incredible i know i've said this a couple of times but no it really is so so wonderful you see three of swords as well you know the bandaged heart got the world card king of cups this one's very interesting you know ace of pentacles very interesting we've got here the two of cups which is just so beautiful then we've got this seven of swords right with this rope which is just really again very very interesting Queen of Swords, the Empress, Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Wands, we've got the Five of Cups. And again, I, I hope you can really see this as well, right? There's a person, you know, drowning in the background as well. So again, there's just so much symbolism and hidden meanings in these cards as well, and that's why I really just love them as well, is because it just has some more different things in it so it's similar but different it's like same same but different so five of pentacles see the two of wands also has another person in it so it, it gives it a bit more context as well again nine of wands also has another person a lot of these cards where you do have sort of more of a singular energy they do also have you know another person in it as well and again it, it's just really interesting because every deck sort of has its own energy and its own meanings that the um authors or the, the publishers sort of put into it so that's what i'm saying well it's not really the publishers i guess they just publish it but you know the illustrators and and the the authors i guess they very much so put their own meanings into the cards as well and that's really interesting to pick up on so we've got the five of swords four of wands page of swords oh okay so that's the five of swords i must have uh, sorry five of wands i must have said five of wands for a different card but obviously this one here is a five of wands so let's see let's see Okay, so got nine of wands, two of wands, eight of wands, three of wands. So this right here, of course, is a ten of wands. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I am just thinking of something. But um, yeah, so that's what we have. <laughs> ten of wands. So we've got king of pentacles, ten of swords, two of swords, star card, strength card, queen of pentacles, temperance, seven of pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, The Lovers, Six of Swords, High Priestess, Page of Wands, Justice, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, The Moon, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, The Magician, The Fool, Seven of Cups, we've got The Tower, Death, Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Death card. We've got the Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, the Chariot, the Hanged Man. Very interesting there as well. You've got another person present. You've got the Hierophant, Ace of Cups, which is so beautiful. Look at that. You've got the Ten of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Hermit. So that is the deck. It is truly one of my favourites. I, I really do like this particular deck. I wish I pulled it as often um, as I, I wish I could, but um, I'm definitely going to be using it more, that is for sure, and I really do like this deck. So, um, you know, one thing that I absolutely love is the illustrations. They are very, very beautiful. So... 
I definitely do recommend this particular deck. Um, it doesn't have a price written on it. I don't believe it was too, too expensive. But um, yeah, I really do like this deck and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, if you'd like to win a free reading with me as well, information for that will be in the description box below. If you would like to um, purchase a private paid reading with me, information will also be there as well. And I also have my intention bracelets which are on Etsy. You can also check out the reviews and see how they have worked for so many people as well. They are handmade, they are intention bracelets which are spiritually charged and they are meditated with and sage. They're handmade by me. So I have the twin flame ones here, I have the soulmate one, I also have the love one as well. There's also career evil eye there's protection bracelets, chakra bracelets, there's so many on my Etsy if you are interested. Do check out the reviews for those and they start from just £3 with free international shipping. Hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this and uh, yeah do let me know your thoughts. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye!